Tonight's story, are Henrietta Lacks' cells really immortal? First with us this evening, a researcher who is heavily involved in the original HeLa cell controversy. Then, a microbiologist who proved the limits of cell division. Cell Biology News begins now. From CBN headquarters in Boston, this is Cell Biology News with Michelle Kennedy. Good evening. Her name was Henrietta Lacks, yet scientists know her as Hila. Her cells were taken without her knowledge and became one of the most important tools in medicine. They were the first human immortal cells grown in culture and were vital for uncovering secrets to diseases such as polio. Yet Henrietta Lacks herself remains virtually unknown. Here with us tonight from Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore, Maryland, is Mary Kubitschek, the former assistant of George Guy, who was the former head of the Tissue Culture Research Laboratory at Johns Hopkins Hospital. Thank you for joining us today, Mary. Thank you for having me. Now, there is a huge ethical controversy over these cells. Can you tell us how you felt about working with them and what your role in researching them was? Well, I, as Guy's assistant, was actually the one who cultured the cells for the first time. And, I mean, HeLa's cells were used for research on major scientific breakthroughs. But it is true you did not obtain permission from the Laxes and think about how you were gaining benefits from Henrietta and her cells. No, I did not obtain permission. The first time I saw her, her body, I was completely shocked. I hadn't actually realized that I was operating on, on a real person. Can you tell us why HeLa cells multiply continuously unlike other cells? Well, HeLa cells are unlike normal cells who have 46 chromosomes because they have 76 to 80 mutated chromosomes. And scientists think that these chromosomes are mutated because of the HPV virus. So HPV will insert its DNA into a host cell and bind on the P53 protein and therefore inactivating it so it can't regulate the cell cycle and suppress unnatural growths from cells. And basically if your P53 is not functioning properly, it can lead to cancers just like Henrietta's. Okay, Ms. Kubitschek, thank you for coming and sharing all of this with us. Thanks for having me, Michelle. Now on the phone tonight is Dr. Hayflick, the scientist who, in observing the behavior of HeLa cells, deduced the immortality of cancer cells. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Hayflick. The pleasure is all mine. So can you please explain what you observed from the HeLa cells and what your stance is on the ethical issue? Yes, I demonstrated that normal human cells divide 40 to 60 times before cell death. This is now known as the Hayflick limit, which is one of the most important principles in cancer and aging research. Not adhering to the Hayflick limit, HeLa cells exhibit immortality and divide indefinitely. As far as ethics, I believe that patients undergoing operation must give consent and be informed of the subsequent intended treatment of their cells. Thank you very much, Dr. Hayflick. Thank you. And that will be it for this segment on CBN, your home for cell biology. We hope to see you here next time. Good night.